Hi, Pisces. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Pisces, let's see what's going on for you um, in career. What's going on for Pisces? So you could work in an office, okay? The Sun card, very nice, good energy. You know, spotlight on you. The universe is uh, allowing for things to blossom for you, uh, for you to be abundant or have abundance here, for you to have growth, um, maybe within your career. Um, you could be getting some positive feedback, accolades for, you know, just doing a wonderful job. All right, let's see. Um, this could also be, um, I don't know, you could be like a star, stardom, um, spotlight again coming up, or you want to be in the spotlight. Uh, you strive to be the first. Um, there's a very playful nature about this also, or competitive, okay, in, in your career. All right, let's see what's going on for you and your finances. What's going on for Pisces with their finances? Finances for, okay, the three of clubs are very nice. Big achievement, um, reason to celebrate, cause to celebrate. You may be celebrating a lot. Um, you may have a lot of dinners and uh, nights out uh, with friends or people that you love or you like. Um, yeah, a lot of celebration, communicating, maybe um, how you feel about maybe some recent achievements, uh, success, victory, and triumph here. So this is really just, you know, enjoying the fruits of your labor here uh, within your uh, finances here. You could be spending a lot on leisure, pleasure, outings, social activities, okay? Um, let's see what is going on for you in love and relationships. Let's see, love and relationships for Pisces. Love relationship for Pisces the eight of cups so this is your energy you could feel like you want to walk away step away take a break you're there's dissatisfaction discontentment you may want someone to move or you're trying to make a move or it's just not happy I heard disgruntled um you may have taken something away taking something off of the table you could be dealing with a Leo that being an eight card strength yeah you could have been dealing with somebody where Something about sex. I don't know. You know, sex could be off the table. Something about sex. You've withdrawn from this person. You have set, you, you know, a boundary or you, have, you put some boundary up or they've withdrawn from you or it's mutual. You know, um, there's discontentment. There's some self-analysis that, ha that has happened or that is happening. And somebody wants to go on their own personal journey. Um, some... It's like somebody wants to explore alone, you know, take the power back from, you know, giving to this connection, this relationship. Let's see about spirituality and well-being, spirituality and well-being. Okay, the magician. So it's like you're trying to manifest. You're trying to have a lot. You got a lot of great ideas. It's just about making them real, you know, taking all that you have and making these ideas real come to fruition using all that is before you using your words wisely you could be in sales you could be learning something you could be learning how to you know incorporate um a new tactic uh this the magician governs speech also so you could be learning you know how to put something together you know eloquently or be eloquent in your speech um you're having bright, you know, flashes of inspiration. You need to keep a pad, paper with you so you can write things down. Um, let's get some more words of advice for Pisces. Looks like a really good week for you. Um, let's see. Yeah, Queen of Swords, the Knight of Wands. So you've got to be honest about how maybe you feel like somebody's not on your level. Okay, you're doing a lot. And they're still learning because the knights are under the guidance of the Hierophant. So um, they're still learning. They're still on conquest. They're, you know, they're still in the energy of using their attractiveness, whether it be physical or, you know, mental, spiritual, whatever, their attractiveness to get what they want. And then, you know, this, you may feel like somebody's flighty. They start a lot of things. They finish nothing. 
uh, or they walk away too soon, you could be feel like you could feel like maybe your person's not on your level. They're like a a budding entrepreneur, or they're starting something, or they're always starting something, and not enough finishes, not enough result or resolve. Yeah, everything is always up in the air. Um, they've got a lot going on, or you have a lot going on. Um, you're trying to balance everything out, the pros and the cons. It, it seems as if you need to have some real conversation with someone about how you honestly feel with the Queen of Swords here. Um, about how something is not valuable to you or it's not adding value or you want it, it to be gone or you want them to be gone or you want something to move. You got two moving cards. So that is the advice for you, Pisces. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or eight by texting your question to the number below. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.